Hello people of the internet. Well, let's have a look at these gel pens that I bought on Prime Day. Um, this is the, it says 145. It's not 145. It's 72 colours, 72 refills that adds up to 144 and a colouring book. That's your 145. Um, that's where they get that number from. So I am going to have a little play with them, see what I think. Um, I'm not expecting much. They're not my favourite type of gel pen. Um, I haven't yet filmed my gel pen collection, but when I do, which will be shortly, um, you'll see what is my favourite. Because I, I like glitter gel pens, which seems to be this section here. These look like metallic. They look like standard colours. Actually, there might be a few standard colours. They look like neons. They look like pastels. They look like neons. They're them horrible swirly ones with the multi colours in them. Oh, my PC is having a little mare behind me. Just turned itself on and did a ding dong at me. Um, and I don't know what they are. But anyway, let's have a play with them. I haven't done a swatch sheet for them because there's absolutely no point. Because if we look at the pens, they are exactly the same as every other gel pen that you get on earth. <laughs> so there's no colour name on them, which is how are you going to match those up with no colour number on them? Hmm, interesting. One of the reasons why I said I would keep these is because of the case. So let's have a look at the different ones. There's ones with glitter on the barrel. Ah, oh, no, let's just, let's just have a play with them and see what they're like. Right now, I'm thinking I shouldn't have bought them. <laughs> I have plenty, plenty of gel pens. And sorry, that was my um, them really nice paint pens that I tested the other day. Anyway, um, let if, oh, if you haven't seen the paint paint video, it's there. Um, I'm using this paper for a change because uh, it's got a bit of tooth to it. It's the Faber-Castell mixed media pad because I find with gel pens, if the paper's too slick, they they don't doesn't get the ball going. You need to have something a bit a bit of grip to get the ball going. Yeah, I was thinking, why did I buy these? Um, and then I remembered that I said, oh yeah, I'll keep them for the case. But okay, that's a neon. I'm not a fan of neons. That's a scratchy neon. This is the thing. Oh, I should bring you down quite a bit, shouldn't I? So you're just you're seeing a little bit better. There we go. That should do. And my PC's obviously doing a upgrade of some kind. These are scratchy mix scratch face. That's fluorescent that one. That is fluorescent. Is that these ones? Are these ones pastels? Neons? They've got clear and won't go back in the uh, slot. These ones have got clear barrels, so no dots of glitter. And sorry, I hold it up to my face. And no, and so they've got clear barrels and clear what's it? There's n oh, there is a bit of glitter on them. You see that? So maybe these are neon glitter. These ones. They have got a really small ball, so they are really scratchy. I'm going to compare them in a second. Um, with both the shuttle art, which I don't mind, they're not my favourite. Oh, it's just one of them weird green colour ones that no, you don't know what it is. Okay, now we're moving on to swirl ones. So we've got a swirl one with a pink lid. Which does come out 
pink and then to stop <laughs> oh you didn't even see that sorry this was so it came out pink it's gonna do it again for you oh no it's gonna stay pink that's good but I guess after the pink what does it do go to purple no oh, idea this is a swirly cotton candy one with the yellow lid which comes out greeny yellow I never know what to do with them I'm not going to bother testing the other two of those because they'll be the same <laughs> this is a very bright pink and this has got an opaque lid now that that's better that one that flows a bit better hmm, that's not bad that one that's not bad for one of the most like pastely opaquey ones. Yeah, that's not bad. That. Not using a highlight on that one. Scratchy. It's good to try all the pastely ones because they're not bad that's not bad for a pasta one usually I find the pasta ones are not very free flowing don't get me wrong these aren't the best pen, um, these aren't the best gel pens in the world forward to moving on to the glitter ones in a second so that was I don't know, some neon glitters some pastels what's next oh, the next row can you tell what, what's next I've just done them ones and I'm starting down here but it looks like these probably I should have started there the pastels the swirls and then these are more of these ones, so these could be neon glitter ones again. It's hard to get that one back in the case, I've just left it on the side for now. I do find these scratching. Now we're going on to the glitter because we've got the ooh, glittery barrel. I need to move it up a little bit. I took you down too much, sorry. Let's see if that is a glittery silver or just that metallic flat thing that they always give you as a silver. Oh, there's a bit, there's a bit of glitter in it. Oh, these are not very glittery either, are they? There's another one exactly the same. Oh, it's lighter. Oh, no. Compared to my joyous Chromatech. See the glitter in them. So I'm just oh yeah, there it is. Really not very glittery. I don't think I'm gonna swatch the rest of these. I'm just gonna jump straight to this. Number one, because they're pain in the bottom to get out of the case. I'm gonna jump straight to this nice tealy blue colour. No. Right, I'm going to show you what I like, right? <laughs> Where's my Chromatech? Hold your horses. Okay, so these 
are the color technique color technique which i they're my favorite you can't get them anymore these are my hidden secret backup set and then these are the chromatech which you've seen recently in a haul linked up there if you haven't and you can get them in sets of 50 and sets of 30 they come with a set of refills when you buy them and these work generally really smoothly oh i should have brought you down sorry so you can see so look at that no gaps no skipping i could go for weeks spring zoom in glitter wise they look more glittery don't they let's have a look let's do a similar color let's do the black well there's the blue that's the black and the blue from the and that's the blue from the chromatech is there a black in here there is oops sorry so that's black chromatech and then where's the black of the other one yeah it feels scratchier it feels skippier wait for the focus there we go so chromatech whatever make this is yeah number one they look glitterier glitterier and number two you can see the ink has flewed out but it's a more darker colour so you know something this review end if here I'm not going to swatch them pens anymore I don't know why I bought them um, I am I think I'm going to return them to Amazon because they're scratchy they're not very nice Oh, let's make sure I've got the chroma. Oh, and look, you get the nice squishy bit on the chroma flow as well. The lids are similar. Yeah, no. I don't want them. I don't want them and I don't even want the case. <laughs> I thought I might want the case to put my pens in, but I'm going to put them back in the big pen case that I use. And then this is my caravan set, so motorhome set. All right, let's put these back. Um, this is the first time I've ever sent a set of gel pens back to Amazon because most of the time I just keep them. But you know, I'm not I'm not on that bandwagon. This is, you know, I probably just paid fifteen pounds for them, but most of that money was for the case. Um, there are better gel pens than these, so <laughs> if if this ever goes out. Is because I've got no other video recorded this week because I don't recommend these. Alright, thanks for watching everyone. Take care. Bye. By the way, I do recommend these. Yay!